hello students so today we are going to discuss about beta lactamase test this is one of the practical we used to perform in microbiology lab so the main objective of this test it is to detect the enzyme beta lactamase this confers penicillin resistance to various bacterial organism then coming to the principle of this test what is the principle behind this test here we can see various bacteria produce a class of enzymes called beta lactamases which may be mediated by genes on plasmids or chromosomes then the production of this beta lactamase may be consecutive or induced by exposure to antimicrobials this beta <coughs> sorry this beta lactamase hydrolyze that is why thereby they inactivate the beta lactam rings of variety of a variety of susceptible penicillins and cephalosporins the beta lactamase test also rapidly detects the presence of beta lactamase enzyme produced by strains like uh, strains of staphylococcus aureus neisseria gonorrhea then Haemophilus influenza and some other strains as well. So these enzymes confer resistance to a number of penicillin antibiotics by cleaving the beta lactam ring of penicillins and cephalosporin antibiotics, resulting in in inactivation of these drugs. Then this mode of action forms the basis of the beta lactamase test reaction. And this rapid beta lactamase test it can yield clinically relevant information earlier than an MIC or this diffusion test if we compare them. So several clinical tests have been devised to detect this beta lactamases. This test includes of different methods like the <coughs> iodometric method, acidometric method, and chromogenic substrates the first one we have is the iodometric methods this methods are suitable for testing neisseria gonorrhea then the acidometric method produce acceptable results with haemophilus species then neisseria gonorrhea and staphylococci then we have out here we use a uh, disc in this disc, nitrosophen has the wide spectrum of susceptibility and sensitivity of the commercially available beta lactams. Therefore, this nitrosoph disc are impregnated with this nitrosophen, a chromogenic cephalosporin. Then, as the amide of this nitrosophen born in a beta lactam ring is hydrolyzed by a beta lactamase nitrosophen changes its color from yellow to red then the bacteria which produce this beta lactamase in significant amounts produce this yellow to red color change on a nitrosoph disc this beta lactamases are capable of inactivating penicillinase labile penicillins such as amoxicillin, ampicillin, penicillin and some other antibiotics as well. So the procedure or what are the steps for this uh, beta lactamase test? So the procedure first of all we used a single disc dispenser we dispensed the disc from a cartridge into an empty petri dish onto a microscopic slide then we moistened the disc with one drop of sterile distilled water with a sterile with the help of a sterile loop or applicator stick we removed several well isolated similar colonies and smear onto a disc surface then we observed the disc for the change in color as we can see here in the diagram right you can see there is a color change 
from yellow to red. If the beta lactamase is positive, a red color will develop within 30 seconds. So, the in case of a positive reaction, like I said, the yellow will change to red color on the area where the culture is applied. An important thing you need to remember is that for most bacterial strains, a positive result will develop within 5 minutes. So, however, positive reactions for some staphylococci may take some time up to 1 hour to develop and change the color. And sorry, and color change does not usually happen over the entire disc. Then in case if the reaction is negative, you will see no color change on the disc, which means the color will remain as it is or yellow in color, right? So, some organisms like uh, I have mentioned Staphylococcus aureus, it might take around one hour. Then, and for example, we have another one is Enterococcus faecalis. It might take to give positive results. It might take five minutes, which is resistance. That means it is resistance to uh, penicillin and ampicillin. In case of Haemophilus influenza, another example I'm giving, it will take around one minute to show a positive reaction, which is this organism is resistant to ampicillin and susceptible to cephalosporins. Then we have Neisseria, gonorrhea and other bacteria as well. These Neisseria will show the positive reaction after one minute. And it is resistant to penicillin. So the limitations, each and every test or practical we use to have the limitations. So in case of beta lactamase, what are the limitations? Here, this beta lactamase can detect detection with the nitrocept disc should not entirely replace conventional susceptibility test methods as other factors also influence the results of such tests and on occasion intrinsic resistance to beta lactam antimicrobials has not been uh, correlated with production of beta lactamase then another limitation is do not oversaturate the tip as it could dilute the reagent then detection of this Beta lactamase activity in Staphylococci it may take up to one hour, like I have discussed earlier, and the induction of the enzyme may also be required. This can be done by testing growth from the zone margin around an uh, oxazilin disc. Then a negative result does not rule out resistance due to the due to the other mechanisms. Then we have a nitrocef disc method which cannot be used to test members of Enterobacteriaceae, then Pseudomonas species or other aerobic gram-negative bacilli because the results may not be predictive of susceptibility to the beta lactams most often used for the therapy. Then this nitrocef disc also cannot be used for organisms where an antibiotic penicillin resistance is not due to the beta lactamase production examples such as stef, uh, sorry, streptococcus pneumoniae and variants of streptococci so the quality control for performing this test the beta lactamase test right for each and every test we used to have a quality control check so out here we can use uh, Staphylococcus aureus ATCC 43300 which is which indicates it is positive which will give a positive reaction another quality control we have is Haemophilus influenza ATCC 33533 this also gives the positive results then we also have other strains or oh sorry other organisms or quality control 
but at least you need to remem remember these two examples I have given you. So with this, we finish with the uh, beta lactamase dust. Thank you.